to how to write a comment. Yeah, but I'm trying to figure out how to write a comment, though. Say look, you're not, um... Okay, okay. It's not staticky at all. Here, write a comment on mine. There we go. You found it? No. Here. What do you want me to say? What's going on? What's going on? Um, what I wanted to say was, go ahead. I wanted to say like and subscribe. Yeah, say it on that one. I already got one person watching, That's so. Me. Oh. <laughs> Now you got two people watching, so. Okay. But I can't pin your comment. I think I can. I can't. I just did. Right. Yep, I just pinned it. All right, all right. This is a totally different live. You got a couple people in? Yep. One person? Yep. Are you going to wait till we get a few? Let me know we got a few in here. All right. right. We'll do, we'll do. You got eight people in. <laughs> Good to see you doing. What's going on? How everybody doing? Oh, hope I was going to read your comment. Hope everybody having a good week so far. Happy Tuesday. We doing it a little bit different. Y'all was asking to do more lives in the fish room. So here we are. We got Aida holding the camera. So we got some movement, y'all. Yeah. We got some movement. So we are going to be feeding all the aquariums in this fish room. It's not that many now because... How to move some fish out, 240 MP, things like that. But we're going to still make the best of it. We're going to feed the fish in here. And then uh, we'll cut y'all loose. Deadbeats Co. said, um, good to see you doing well, man. Was a blast to meet you last year at Petco. Man, yeah, man. That's what's up, man. Really appreciate that. Definitely was nice to meet you. And uh, you said that was who? Deadbeats Co. Yeah, okay, okay. On, I'm not too grab. sure. Let me grab your phone. Yeah, I'm not too <laughs> sure. <laughs> yeah, dead beats, man. What's happening? What's happening? So um, we're going to start off. I won't be holding this phone right here looking down so I can read these comments. But we are going to start off with this 240. Yeah, we got eight people in the room. Twelve. Well, we got 12 now. You know, shit, like I always say, man, less is more. There's plenty of us. So um, we about to go ahead and get started. We're not going to wait on everybody <laughs> else. You come late, you don't eat. That's it. No. Shamu Aquatics said, welcome to the Cleveland show. Shamu, what's good with you, man? What's good with you? How you doing? All right. So now we got, we're going to feed all of our fish. We got some silver sides. We got small silver sides, big silver sides. But this water is ice cold. I need to add some more warm water to this. Oh, it was warm when I first yeah, did it's, it. It's icy still. Okay. So you still got ice on some of that. Yeah. We got the shrimp for the horn shark. So um, show them the tank while I go get some warm water. They have, matter of fact, some of these people haven't even met you. You need to introduce yourself. Met me? Yeah, Everybody knows who I am. am. <laughs> oh, this is my first time on the Fish Corners Live. My name is Aida. For those of you that do not know me, hello, hello. Fish Tang Frank, what's up? What's up? How are you doing? Hey, what's happening? Frank, what's good with you? He said, congrats on that fire pike. Man, appreciate it, man. He, man, predatory fins came through. I was kind of hesitant. They came through. <laughs> Got to grab me some of those spider kill berries next. Shout out to the fish corner from Brooklyn. Keep keep the hobby going. Get money, Dre. What you up? Already, you already know. And so y'all know, Aida, she runs the channel TFC with me. So make sure... Y'all go and subscribe to that YouTube channel Aww. as well. <laughs> Thank you. I've been, I've been talking about how she gets in front of me and gets ahead of me and all that. You know, I'm always at the end of, always standing inside of this plywood build at the end of the video. That's <laughs> Aida. That's who's holding the camera. So Hi. show that support. Get on over there. Look at her channel. And she's going to be doing this a lot more often. We do a lot of live TikToks, but we're going to start doing lives on this YouTube. Especially now that I know that it doesn't lag when she moves the camera around. So we are going to definitely start getting it in. So... I hope y'all enjoy this content. We are going to be feeding every aquarium in this fish room. We're going to start off with these guys. Then we're going to go to the 125. And then we'll go and do the other guys. Because you're going to eat pellets and flakes and things like that. And then we're going to finish it off with 
the 800 gallon. I'm excited to show you a live feeding on the 800 gallon. Y'all have never seen that before, so it should be fun. Shamu Aquatics, my name is spelled A-I-D-A, -A, but I did pin my comment onto the chat that please uh, like and subscribe. So my channel is TFC with me. And Fish Tank Frank, what's up? I don't know where my, uh, my coffee is. You left it? Uh, oh, shoot. I'm sorry. So Cleveland went to go grab his coffee. So as soon as he gets back, I'll read him the comment. How many of you guys like this fish tank over here? This is one of my favorite tanks because of Lisa Ray. Thank you, Damo. Babe. Miami Native said, Big C, what's good? Every time, uh, Miami Native. Miami, man, what's happening with you, bro? How you doing? He said, Big C, what's good? Every time I watch your channel, I think about the movie Gladiator. Uh, are not in the chain. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Noel Garcia, appreciate that. All right, let's do this. Let's do this. Y'all ready uh, for the I feeding? Need the, I need the tongs. I need the tongs. Usually or typically you guys watch this Not on live, so it's always a video that's already been posted So hopefully you guys are excited edit it right no edits here Can you guys hear Cleveland by the way? Well, it's awesome, Shamu. The singer is gorgeous. Breezy. Breezy, what's good with you, bro? How you doing? He's good right there. Good to see you in the chat. So, yeah, I mean, Breezy for sure slides every time. So, Breezy, what's uh, up? Shout out to you. Eventually, you'll know who the regulars are. We got some regulars in the building. You know, they didn't, they didn't slid through. I know a few. I know yeah, a few. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know a few of them. I know, you know a few you know, of you know them. Frank for sure. But, yeah, man, Breezy for sure. Is always in the building with us, showing that support. Oh, Reezy said barely hear him, so you got to be close. Well, let me know. Let me know if, if that's a little bit better. So we're gonna start off with uh, we're gonna start off feeding this panther grouper right here. There we go. Easy money. Easy. Another one, huh? I think this panther grouper gonna eat at least probably three. Oh, he, he's gonna, gonna be there's big. Two right yeah. there. One more. Are you good? Okay, well, take your time. Take your time. Think about it. Lion fish. Lisa Ray, like, what know, about me? Like, Maybe get that. <laughs> Come on, you want it? You don't want it? Keep All right. What about you? There we go. Saddle back back there. Now, I'm trying to slide this on the bar. Lisa All right, Ray, let's like, see. Right. Let's there see. Go. There we yeah. go. Yeah. All right, so the reason why I was holding off on giving Lisa Ray hers because I want to put a vitamin in hers real quick. Make sure she get her vitamin. Oh, shoot. Uh-huh. Splashing. Fort Worth there. in the building. Shout out to you. Who? Where he's from. Oh, shoot. Where he's from. DG's. Okay, DG's. What's good with you? What's good with you? I told you he wanted one more. Yeah. Oh, Fish Tank uh, Frank said, uh, Panther Grouper looks like the spot dude from Spider-Man cartoon movie. <laughs> was that a tiger fish in the last video? Get money, Dre? Uh, no, that was a Zebrina Pike, but you did catch the tiger fish, so I do got a tiger fish. I will be um, doing a video on that tank. If I got some energy to do it after we do this live, then I'll do it. There you go. There it is. All right, Lisa, right here we go. Finally, here. Get it. All right, come on. There you go. Vitamin and all. It's a good girl. Come on, get back in there. Oh, get back in there. <laughs> Shit. Yeah, she uh, she gonna be playing. Splash right, zone for show. Sure. Go three. That's the third one. Oop. All right. 
Oh, shit. Damn. Here comes another one. Okay, well, let's see. All right, you ready? There you go. Yeah. Shamu, she always does that. We're not afraid that she's going to slip out. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she want to jump out. She doesn't want to get that food. Right, yeah. like fish, five right there. fish said just bought my first albino solar arrow for 850 to grow out Damn. and out with my big americans that's expensive Ooh, shit. where you live at bro that definitely was a little was a little king got a spitter reezy <laughs> all right come on there you go there we go and I don't know why the, I don't know why King is acting funny, but here, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that. That's because he wanna. Look. There you go. He, yeah, I know. Well, snooze, you lose. So I'm gonna get that one. He got that one. All right, come on. Australia. I lost count. She's He's from like Australia. Seven. Yeah, that was a little expensive, but uh, I definitely understand getting a fish that you really been wanting. I really wanted mine as well. We only paid two fifty for ours though. Right, that's a little time. excessive. 850, that's expensive. Yeah, but probably out there don't have that many options, so you gotta you know yeah. have to pay that price. My cousin that just moved out here, he just moved from um, Australia. Alright, let's see about this horn shark now. Alright. Oh, he just grabbed you a silver side. That's why I said sometimes oh. sometimes he grabbed a silver side. <laughs> I told you. Dang, I just yeah, missed yeah. that. Oh he just he, he just, just fucked it, it up. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay. yeah. okay, he must All have really right. been hungry. Right. Oh, look. Now we're going to drop some of that shrimp in there. Oh. I don't know what's up with Tess, but over there. Come on. Come on, shark. Yeah, I was just trying to see if the shark was trying to eat. Here he come. Come to the front. That's not food. Right. He's not food. Want another one? There you go. All right. He's all gotten right. so big. He is. Ah, uh, she's about to come eat the shrimp right now. You got 35 people in here? Yeah, I see that. Make sure y'all hitting that like button. We I got 35 people that. in the building. I know we could get that, get the likes up to 35. We shouldn't only have 12. There we go. Yeah, get on that shrimp. He's so cute. Let's go. Come on, <laughs> let's get those likes up. Every time I say that, look, we lost two people. It's all right, 33 people. We got on one now. like, so we appreciate got... you, whoever hit that like button, watching your stream from L.A. L.A., what's up? There we go. Yeah. My there brother caught 14. a That's thorn shark at our local pier a while back, about the same size as yours. That's there what's up, fish, yeah. fish Tank Frank. That's, That's sure. cool. 33 people, 14 likes. Come on, get them fingers working. Y'all don't want to just spectate. Hit that like button. 15, thank you, thank there you. Keep now. it going. 18 more likes. I know it's not that hard. If y'all watching, y'all can like. Appreciate there you. Go. There we go. We get there. Shout out to the 16th like. We getting there. We getting there. All right, so it uh, looks like. Come on, one more piece right Shout here. Shout out to the 17th like. There we go. And look, he is loving shrimp. So, like I said, man, John is our, John is our guy. But he was not correct about this horn shark really eating those silver sides like that. He did eat the one, but he definitely prefers shrimp. I'm just glad that I was able to get him to eat because he was almost he was almost on his way back to the store. So the fact that he's eating, he will remain here. And if y'all missed the live the other night, you can go ahead and show him this thing right here. So this thing right here is gonna get dismantled. I'm changing up the design entirely, moving the whole thing out. So what we plan on doing. We are going to do a saltwater tank. This is about three foot. So we're gonna bring this out to four foot and we're gonna take it 13 feet down to the corner. So that way our saltwater fish has a lot more room. And then we'll, I'm gonna remove these two tanks and then I'm gonna come from here and then I'll meet that tank to four foot. So I'll meet it to about right here. It's about, I think it was like eight foot. Gives me about a about 700, 800 gallon tank for the freshwater fish. So that's just gonna be a lot easier. This right here, you know, it was impressive statement, all of that, but it really wasn't that convenient. It was gonna be a lot more work than what it needs to be. And with the materials that this thing was gonna need to actually get to completion, I could build both of these for the same amount of materials. So that's what I plan on doing. On top of the fact, you know, they'll get a 1300 gallon tank instead of a thousand gallons. 
And you know, this horn shark is gonna grow. You know, we got the big grouper. You know, Lisa Ray has a lot more swim room. So yeah, that's the that's the come. That is the new plan. So y'all wonder, you know, y'all don't have to ask about that no more. That's <laughs> getting dismantled. Come on. There we go. You gonna get that one too? There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Miami Nada, appreciate you for hitting that like button. 17 likes, 38 people. Come on now, y'all. Hit that like button. Hit that like button for me. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel as well if you are not already. A lot more things to come. A lot of things in the making. And you don't want to miss out on any of it. So make sure you subscribe. But first things first, while y'all watching, hit that like for me. Should I have been holding the camera this way? Nah, nope, it's cool. locked. No, it's locked. You can't do it that way. Right, Look. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. We don't need that anyway. All right, all right. So. Yarn lover Regina, hi. Appreciate you. Hope you're doing well. She said done. So she's hey, the Regina. 19. Hey, Regina. Finally got Aida in the building with us. <laughs> hey, we finally got Aida on this live with us. Stop. Yeah. You know, everybody know you on, on a live on TikTok, but you know, you're basically getting reintroduced. Very to true. Very that's true. The, uh, look, I'm still hungry. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. 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 You want to read some comments? Yeah, I'll read some of these comments. Let me get closer. What it was like, said. Come on now, 38 people, 19 likes. We got 19 more people that can make sure those fingers work. Let's go. <laughs> Let's get them likes up. Let's get them likes up. All right, all right. Let me see. It cost you zero dollars to hit that man, like button. Facts, facts, facts. Texas, man, was good. Which man was good? Junior Pacheco, man. Yeah, we are almost at 20k. Almost there. You was asking about. You see, King of DIY predatory fans. Who you got? Who you got? Huh? I'm not I'm not gonna watch it, but who you got though? Who do you who you think gonna knock out who? Let me know. Probably Rod. <laughs> think Rod gonna knock out Joey? I do. <laughs> you know, one thing I've learned about because I used to take boxing, one thing I've learned is that size, it's not about size. You know, you really wanna be smaller so you'll be more True. quicker. You know, the big guys, it's a lot, you know, usually are a lot slower. So you don't want to be hella big, so that might actually work against Rod. Damn. But also, right. like I said, they're kind of almost the same size, and Rod is losing some weight because he's training. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I don't right, know. right. Oh, look, he's still eating. Cool fish, fish corner, how dope it looks. Props on not giving up after the house move motivation. Yeah, fish tank, Frank, you already know. You know, that was a hard one. That was a hard hit. Losing all those fish when we moved in. But, you know, this is what we love. You know what I mean? So, uh, get knocked down, get back up, right? That's how you got to do it. That's the game of life. All right, all right. Lloyd, what's good with you? What's good with you? Jay Alexander, man, what's happening, man? How you doing? As far as us, we straight. Um, everything is good, you know? Um, still grinding with the hobby. Work is good. Family good. I mean, what more can we ask for? Big changes going on in the fish room to everybody out of that 240. I know you're reflecting, mm -hmm. but to everybody out there at that 240, all we have over there, let me see how I show them. Wait, let me get out of the way. Hold on. <laughs> so, look, everybody came out the 240. All I got left over here is this turtle. So, um, we'll see what I do with this. I'm thinking that I'll slide that Jardini in here and maybe that albino arowana. Ain't no telling. I really think I might put the albino silver inside the pond, but Kobe is looking big, and he looks like he appreciates all the space to himself. This one down here is empty. You need to figure out what we're going to do with this. I don't know if I want to add some more fish. It's really some major changes coming along. Once these things get built right here, like I was saying, that 13-foot, that's going to be amazing. I cannot wait to see a 13-foot aquarium. And then these two tanks right here, as I said, they got to move. I found a new place for those aquariums. They are going to go right there where those two stacked aquariums are, and then I'll have to move those over. You know, so yeah, big things, big things happen. Big things happen. What those likes looking like? 23. 23. With 23. 29 people Come in on, here. Six more people. Come on, hit those likes. Hit those likes. All right, next up. Damn, you still hungry? He's looking chunky though. Yeah, Ooh. he just ate the last one. He's looking 
Chunky, I think I will give him a little bit more. I want to see. If he don't eat it, somebody's going to eat it. Lisa Ray probably will, because she is definitely a glutton. All right. Do you guys have a favorite in this tank? Let us know in the chat. All right, let's do it. Come on. Pine fish. You better get you some of that. Miami native. Yeah. Appreciate that. He said, y'all, hit that like button. It ain't going to cost you nothing. If it does, it's worth it. Man, facts, facts. All right. There we go. That's it for this tank right here. Everybody, everybody fit. We about to move on over to the 125. Come on, babe. Me too, Miss Regina. Mine too. Yep. Johnny, uh, my name is Aida, and my channel is TFC with me, and I think I pinned the comment. All right, who are you feeding next? 125. I don't think, I don't think Stoli's going to eat tonight. All right, so the problem with this is that the light shorted out, y'all. I got to get a whole new light for this aquarium right here. So, um, it's going to be a little dark. Do we need to get the, oh, you can still see. That's good. That's good. Talking about. Not, I mean, the shadow is really bad. Hopefully, we well, can make some. Well, we could make it happen. All right, so they are going Ugh. to. They are going to be eating this. Panther grouper is the most badass one in there, but the lionfish is my favorite. That's what's up. Daryl said the horn shark. All right, look at them. Woo, they ready. So I, I really like feeding them this. this is, they eat down there just one whole one, and then I can put in a couple of silver sides. For the uh for the eels. But yeah, they love eating this shrimp just like I mean not the shrimp, the squid just like this. Like everybody coming out. Come on y'all. It's enough for everybody. Yeah. There we go. Get a close up on the puffers for <laughs> you. I know Regina's loving the puffer eating right now. Phew, that smells so bad. No, not at all. You smelling it? I don't want to smell it. Smell it. See, that's not that. Is, mm -hmm. is there anything else inside of that container? This actually oh. don't smell bad at all. Yeah, it's not even that fishy. Yeah. It's not even that fishy. 41 people in here. What's up? Make sure you guys hit that like button. Yeah, hit that gotta, like you gotta, button. You constantly remind the new people that come in because they'll come in, spectate, or don't even hit the like, so you definitely got to remind them. Also, make sure you all are subscribed to the channel if you're if you're new to the channel, new to the live, new to the chat. Make sure you subscribe. But yeah, look at him. Where is the yellow? There right you go. There. Now that right there is my favorite eel. Damn near out of all of them. Oh, he Damn just near disappeared. Out of all of them. I wait until that eel gets anywhere near eight foot. Dang. Anywhere near eight foot. Looking forward to that. Fish said, what's the growth rate like for albino silver arrow? What's their max size in aquariums? Um, I think it really, well, that was a bunch of different questions. Their growth rate also then it depends on the size of the aquarium. And then the size that they'll grow into also depends on the size of the aquarium. Um, I, I don't know how long we've had hours, but since he's in that 225 gallon aquarium, he's definitely grown quite large and I, I, I damn near feel like it was fast um, but again Me I can't too. recall how long we've had them uh, but you know you'll stunt their growth if you don't give them the size space that they actually need so you know put yours in the biggest aquarium that you could actually put them in I would say anything well you see Kobe is inside the 800 gallon and that's not big enough right so you definitely want to put them in something that could you know work for a three foot you know, arowana, you know, um, I'm hoping that my albino silver gets 36 inches. You know, I'm going to do everything I can to make sure that happens. Kobe right now is 30 inches and Kobe is going to go into something like a 3000, maybe 2,500 gallon. I keep on going down because, you know, I don't want it to be too tall. You know, I don't want it to be too tall. So anywhere between 2,500 to 3000 gallons, that's what he's going to have. That's what he's going to go in. And then I will also introduce you know the albino silver to that 
and maybe the Jardini if they all want to play nice. So as big as you could get it, you know, if, get a kiddie pool if you don't want to do a plywood build quite yet. But you make sure that kiddie pool is as big as you could possibly have for your arowana. It'll grow fast, you know, it'll grow large, and it'll be happy. I always say thriving is better than surviving. So you make sure that your that your that your fish are able to actually thrive, and uh, you know they'll appreciate it. And so will you. It's way more rewarding. Hope that answers your questions. Hope that answers your question. Johnny Racer 173 says, "Love the burnt wood stands. I'm about to build the fish room, and the stands will be burnt just like yours." I'm talking about thank you. Appreciate that. When Definitely. I seen, when I seen the burnt wood idea years ago, I was like. Damn, like that's the grain that's under just regular wood. You know, you don't, you mean you can stain it, but I feel like when you stain it, you kind of like it take away from that. But they do have a clear stain. If that's what you want to do, you could also do that. That's one way of making it a little bit better. Um, but, you know, the fact that you could just burn a regular piece of ugly wood and then just see the natural grain come out. I mean, I just, I was like, I got to do this. You know, it looks a little rustic. I like the rustic look of it. And so, yeah, you know, that's, as you see, that's the whole fish room, the whole everything, the whole design in this thing. So, yeah. And I'm just reading comments now. So the yeah. red devil will grow from 12 inches up to eight inches in large aquariums. MAF Trilog. Tri 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 How do you, fuck do you say that? <laughs> Where the hell are you? Trilogy. 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 Good, the red, that was the, red, so hard de the red devil will grow from 12 inches up to 18 inches in large aquariums. I've never seen an 18 inch red devil. Are you trolling, man? Why are we talking about that? I, why are we even talking about that? I, I don't that? know. Somebody was already talking about it. That's why I said I'm, I'm yeah, reading comments. Yeah, I don't know why we even talking about that. And man, then have all, I mean, how many red devils have y'all seen that's 18 inches? You know, I had one, you know, and it was over, over 12 years old and it was only 12 inches. So, if you find you an 18-inch red double, please post that. Please share that. I want to see that. I'll make sure that I change what the hell I'm saying. Otherwise, I'm not believing that shit. The dude that left that comment, he was trolled. He wasn't being real. He wasn't being honest. He wasn't being real. He was trolled. So, you know, yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to read the bottom first because DM Finn said, yeah, um, man, that's good. my favorite. Love the wood work. And then he said, LOL, to your comment just now. Man, DM Fins, man, what's good with you, bro? Man, good to see you in the chat, man. Hello, this is hello. This is the first time that, that I've caught you on the live, man. Really appreciate it, man. I hope everything is going good. Hope that week is blessed for you, man. I hope you're staying safe, all that good stuff, man. You already know what it is. Yarn lover Regina. Miss Regina said, I saw a video the other day of a green moray eel that was big as a diver's thigh, and he was petting that eel, and he was loving it. Well, you know what, Regina? Maybe I don't. Want that's a that huge green eel. Or eel. <laughs> yeah, that's I don't huge. Know if I want an eel the size of my thigh. Hopefully, the skinner. Hopefully, the swimmer was skinny. But uh, if he wasn't the size of the thigh, yeah, that's that's, a that's big insane. Ass eel. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That, that's that's sending you to the hospital if it bites you. Yeah. yeah. Uh, fish tank. Frank said, "Love the saltwater fish tank. Corals and cool. Corals are cool, but it, but it's a fish tank." with the crying laughing and the fist bump mm -hmm. and yeah. then aj yeah. quest said keep up the great content cleveland and wife keep them videos coming appreciate you i will there we go that one that, yeah, 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 yeah i, yeah, I already yeah. caught him eating babe how the time and him. Squid? not the squid but just caught him eating yeah yeah no leftovers that's kind of like why i was happy because i was walking off and i'm like oh they just dusted off everything that was left in there Man, like we're not gonna show them the coral tank. We gotta, we gotta work on that. <laughs> Miami na native, damn, we got some haters in the building. <laughs> yeah, you know how it is. You know what it is. Joe Blood said, "Been watching the twenty-gallon beginner salt water tank. Just waiting to buy the rocks to start it up next month. Yeah, That's yeah. what's up." DM Finn say you as well. Yes, sir. Just made it home from work and seen you on live. I had to come kick it with you guys. Appreciate Man, you. Appreciate you. And then bird is the word. So, what was your first fish tank as a kid? Uh, it was a ten-gallon tank with 
Molly's, Patty's. Wait, pause, pause that real quick. Hold that thought. We got 52 people in here with 32 likes. You guys know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. This is just one of two fish rooms. We have another all white fish room. You might want to see that. We got the outdoor koi pond that I built. You might want to see that. We got crazy things happening. Matter of fact, we're in the perfect place for me to tell you what I was talking about. So those two tanks right there behind you, babe, those two tanks right there, I'm gonna put these over here. So that means that these saltwater guys are gonna get an upgrade. That means I'm gonna have the other, the other um, 60 gallon on the bottom. I'm gonna put the 150 right there with the 75 right there. And then that way, everybody got upgrades. I got plenty of space to build those new plywood builds. So yeah, a lot has to happen, but it's still relatively easy. It's gonna be easier to move the 150 and the 75 right there and then move these two tanks over right here. All I gotta do is figure out where to put this 37 gallon, which is not that big anyway. But um, yeah, I will be able to come y'all. So make sure y'all subscribe, man. Make sure y'all are subscribed to the channel. Miss Regina said, what kind of party are we having when you hit 20K? <laughs> right. I don't know. We're going we gonna to get some pizza. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. 20K, you already know, Regina. I've been trying to fight for that for a long time, almost a year. But, um, you know, uh, it'll be, it'll be a nice milestone. A nice milestone. I'm, man, Absolutely. Hopefully, I get that silver plaque sooner rather than later. I'm looking forward to that. And you already know that's 100K. So, 20K is next, but the grind never stops. we got to get to 100. And then Amelia. Should have been at Amelia already. Definitely. So down here we have our freshwater line fish, y'all. And I always have to point out the fact that these are not actually fresh water fish. This is a brackish tank. You want to make sure that you keep this at a minimum salinity level of 1.010 to make sure that it lives happy and thrives in the aquarium. I don't know why they sell them as freshwater line fish. They're really not. They're really not. They can be in freshwater but you're gonna shorten their lifespan. Point blank, period. I could actually keep this fish and the 225 with the marine fish. That lets you know how much salt this fish actually needs and appreciates, you know what I mean? One thing that you don't wanna do is, like I said, keep it in fresh water. Also, the freshwater stingray, snowflake, I mean the freshwater um, snowflake eel. I don't know if y'all seen that, it looks a bit ugly, it's kinda of dark, has some spots on it, that's another one that's actually not fresh water. Is truly brackish and uh, if you ever see it just make sure that you remember what I told you you can still buy it but you know it'll be your first brackish water fish so we'll go ahead and see if Stony wants to eat this is a female are you ready to eat girl oh yeah there we go there we go eat for the people eat for the people they want to see you eat girl all right look at her yeah yeah, she's a pleasure to keep. Very easy. Um, don't require a lot, as you can see. This is just a 54-gallon corner tank. Um, she don't require much at all. She really doesn't. They are venomous, so um, watch. Don't try to grab it. Make sure when you get in the tank, you're aware at all times of where that fish is. But other than that, I mean, you know, if you want like a, a wet pet, this is a perfect example of a nice, you know, dangerous wet pet. I'll do this because, because, you know, we also got the stingray over there that's venomous. The, um, the lion fish over there is venomous. You know, so uh, we keep venomous fish, but we make sure that we um, are safe when we're, had, when, we, when we're actually cleaning the aquarium or the way that we're dealing with them. So next up, we're going to feed the African cichlid tank now. Oh, they love to eat. They love to eat. Now, no matter how much I feed these fish, they still have a way of eating a fish. Um, we have lost a couple of fish in the past week. And I've already fed them today. And they are acting like they haven't eaten a single thing. Now watch this, this is just insane. And the cleanup crew, just so you know, before I, I wanna make sure I let y'all know before y'all start talking about us overfeeding, the cleanup crew is the loaches. They spend all day and night eating whatever these guys don't eat. We are going to put in a nice generous amount of flakes. 
Now these fish will be getting moved out. The OGs know what time it is. They know that they're getting moved out. They are on their way to a 225 gallon aquarium. I would like to highlight some of my favorite fish in here. You know I gotta love that big frontosa right there. But even more than that big frontosa, I really love my four black widow frontosa. Very unique frontosa. Those are followed by my Malawi Barracuda. It's not looking that nice right now. I can't wait till he actually colors up. And then the top dog is my eye biter right here who has grown substantially. But do you see how much I fed them? Do you see how much they're eating? Still not gonna be enough. Still not gonna be enough. And like I said, this is the second time that they've eaten today. Now I've been getting a lot of flack because people feel like this is overstocked. I've heard the pool, blah, 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 blah. But the true African sigla keepers, the true sigla keepers know that the reason why you overstock your aquarium is to prevent bullying. It might sound a little strange, but yes, that works. It prevents the bullying. How does it do that? Because if you only have a handful of fish in there, and you have one aggressive fish and you have a passive fish that's already getting bullied, every time that fish, that aggressor looks over, it's gonna see that same fish, and it's gonna bully it until it gets stressed out and die, or it beats it up until it dies, whatever the case may be. So, you wanna make sure in an African cichlid tank, which one of the tanks you can do this, you wanna make sure that you overstock it. Have good filtration though. Make sure you're doing your water changes. Keep an eye on the parameters. All that good stuff is also key points to having a healthy, established African cichlid aquarium. This also works for Central American cichlids. I've been a Central American cichlid keeper for over a decade, and I've utilized that method when I had the dovi, the, the notorious dovi that's gonna kill everything. Hasn't happened, hasn't happened. Hasn't happened the whole time I've been keeping them. And I remember years ago, I used to get a lot of negative, negative comments about the fact that that's what would happen. But same rules apply. The only different rule is with Central American cichlids is that I would provide the site breaks. You don't really have to do that so much with African cichlids, which makes the tank that much more beautiful. Look how this looks. Instead of me having all these different caves, all you just appreciate is the fish. You know what I'm saying? So a few different ways of going about doing this. This is just one way of going about doing it. But I feel like this is one of my best tanks right here. Just so much color. This water is always crystal clear. So much activity. And actually with this aquarium, I do 70 to 80% water changes. This is the only tank I take out that much water from. And the reason being is because I do have it stocked this way. It is quite overstocked. So I wanna make sure that I turn this water over more than 100% at least a couple times within a month. Whereas another aquarium, you know, if I change over the water 80% within a month, that usually suffice. But you have to understand the differences in your aquarium. Now, if you are one of the people like me that overstock your tank and you know sometimes you share your content in the Facebook groups and you get negative feedback, that's okay, don't worry about that. A lot of them are haters and some people just don't know. You know, you got people, you got some people that still believe the one inch per gallon rule, the one inch per fish rule. And that's insane. You definitely gotta have each of your fish in an adequate size aquarium, no matter the size of it, you gotta do more than just believe the one inch per fish per gallon rule. I wish I wouldn't have muted. Um, I muted the this dude right here because he said it's overcrowded. So I muted. It. I know because now that you explained it, I was like, "Dang, okay." Yeah, but yeah. I, I muted him for like 30, 30 minutes. Damn. Hopefully he's still able to watch. Hopefully he heard everything. I hope he was able to hear that. I think he can. I, I just don't think he can comment. comment. Yeah. Well, well, my friend, Mister, it's overstock. That was intentional. Matter of fact, it's so intentional that I'm going to go add six more fish to this aquarium. <laughs> six more. Six more. <laughs> because it's for a reason. It's for a reason. You know, I still got some fish in here that does get a little picked on. Sadly, my guy right here, yeah. he, he, he keeps getting picked on. Um, he's still making it, though. Two other fish got, got wiped out before um, that guy. You know what I'm saying? But, again, 
when I put all of these fish into the 225 gallon aquarium, you know, these guys or these people that feel like they're so overstocked, they're gonna lose their shit because they're gonna be like, damn, 225 gallons is overstocked. And again, I'm just gonna have to educate them. You know, it's a method. It's a method to reduce aggression. It's not the only method. Whatever way works for you, works for you. But I'm just providing an option, one way of reducing the aggression inside of your African cichlid aquarium. So that being said, we have talked enough about that. Hopefully that helps someone. We are going to move on over to the discus tank. I know we got some discus lovers in the house. And you got some comments, so you gotta go grab my phone and, and read. Oh shit, I got some comments. I I'm gonna clean comments. this glass real quick. Come on, Harley. Here we are at the discus tank. Let me see what the comments are. Let's see, let's see. Oh, DJs, man, what's good with you, man? DJ Aquatic Zoo, man, what's happening? What's happening? Lifted Aquatics, really appreciate that. Sorry I haven't been able to, you know, get to y'all comments and, and all that good stuff. I didn't want to stop you while you were talking. <laughs> yeah, I, I appreciate that. Lifted Aquatics, every time you go live, it is even better than your videos. Always enjoy tapping in topic of lives, too. Yeah, I appreciate that. I appreciate that. Lifted Aquatics, man, really appreciate that. That's a positive feedback that I need. You know, we could do more live feedings. I didn't know that we could move the camera around like this because when I did that before and the camera got moved around, it kept lagging. So now that I know that, we're going to be doing these live feedings. You know, Regularly. there's a lot of different stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Okay, Extract X. What's your oldest fish? Which fish did you own the longest? God bless. All right, that's an excellent question. What is our oldest fish? Probably one of our buddy cofferai. We're gonna look at those in 800 gallon, our zebra tilapias. We've had our zebra tilapias for about six years now. About six years. Um, so those are the those are the oldest. Uh, DM fins, that's one of your favorite tanks. That's what's up, that's what's up. Lifted aquatics, I can't wait to see this black widow frontosa grow out. I've never seen them mixed maxed out in a size tank. I agree, I agree. I cannot wait to see these Black Widow full grown. All right. Yeah, I appreciate that DM. I, I definitely appreciate that. I don't think it's anything wrong with that African cichlid tank either. All right, what else we got? What else we got? One inch per gallon <laughs> equals 10 inch Oscar and a 20 gallon tank. Exactly, Shamu <laughs> Exactly, exactly. That rule is just so stupid. Reaper, how do you treat staghorn algae? I don't, Reaper, uh, Reaper FPV, I don't know what staghorn algae is. I'd have to look that up. Shout out my buddy's mom only has four African cichlids in their 130 gallon, and I keep telling her you gotta get more, but she's like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> she definitely gotta get more. She definitely gotta get more. I would load that thing up in 120, what you say, 130 gallons. I probably would put a good, I probably put a good 50 in there. Good 50 in that one. I have like 20 in the, uh, in the 55. Thank you, Miss Regina. All right, where we at, where we at? Thank you very much, Regina, really appreciate that. All right, I told her we always love to see her in the comments. No problem, you know, it work like always. For sure, DM, you already know. Extract X, why those are some beautiful fishes. Thank you very much. Cody, man, what's good with you, man? How you doing? Gotta make sure your notifications yeah, are on. Yeah, yeah. All right, come on now. Yeah, get y'all some of these. Get y'all some of these pellets. Now, if y'all have some discus and you're having a hard time getting those discus to eat, this is what got us through. Um, I mistakenly fed these fish, our two big ones, which is this one's not a big one anymore, but fire right here and ice, I fed them black worms because they weren't eating. And it was so hard to get them to eat pellets. All right, here come our damn, uh, our damn catfish. Yeah, get back there, get back there. <laughs> Leave them alone. Uh, so it was really hard to get them off those black worms, but these TDO pellets really, got them off of it. And then all the other ones, they came already eating pellets. So if you need a discus food, 
Try some of these TDO pellets. What we got? What we got? Cody Miller, we just chilling, did a video today, feeding our bass. He jumped completely out the water. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I gotta watch that video. And that's on and that's on TikTok. Alright. Kazi FPS. I'm starting a salt water but light sand. Or salt water up. But light sand rock salt comes out to six hundred dollars. What's your advice? Um you already got the tank. What size tank? <laughs> What size tank is it? That definitely matters. Stu, man, what's good with you, man? How you doing? Yeah, man. It's good to see you up in the building, man. What's up? What's up? Finally got a live feeding for y'all. You know what I mean? We uh, we, we done worked out the kinks, man. We worked out the kinks. I didn't know that we could move around and get active, man. Now we really about to start doing some real lives. I would have did this. The seal up right here on this 125. Yeah, the 125 is sealed up. This 125 is going to go in the house. So I'm going to take it outside tomorrow, fill this thing up, do a water test on it for a couple of weeks, and we about to convert that 75 gallon salt water into this 125. So that means I got to build a stand for this thing. That means I'm going to make it look good because it's inside the house. It can't look like this. Not that this looks bad, but I'm going to paint it. I'm going to make it look aesthetically pleasing. Yeah, all those, all those videos are either going to be live or it might be real videos. All right, you said it's a 36 gallon bow front. I need a filter too. So how much would I pay for that? You already got the 36 gallon. The sand shouldn't run you no more than, I would say $40 tops. Um, the rock, you might spend a little bit more if you don't want all of your rock at the same time. You don't even have to get that. I wouldn't spend any more than $80 on that. So we had 120. Um, the water for that is another, let's just say, max $40. So we have 160 Shit, man. And then a filter, you you know, for, a third, for that, I would get a nice Fluval 70. I don't know what the price is off the top of my head for that, but let's just say it's $50. So we was just, so that's like 210 That's like 210 How you spending 600 What's my thoughts on that? Hell no. <laughs> Hell no. Check this out. This is what I do. Send me an email. Send me an email or whatever. We gotta, I need to find a way to actually send you a message. I'm going to send you a breakdown of what you need for a 36 gallon. You definitely shouldn't be spending 600. I'm telling you. No more. If you want to go all out, if you, man, what did he say he's getting? Just, man, if you want to go all out, you still going to spend no more than $300. And that's max. Like I said, I said 210, 250 is more like what you're going to have to spend. Email me. Send me a message on here, any video on YouTube, message me on Facebook, however you want to, Instagram, however, I don't really fuck with Instagram. So yeah, on this right here on YouTube, <laughs> or send me an email, send me a message, I'm going to give you a breakdown, and I'm going to send you the links, all the shit that you need, man, and you're going to definitely save a whole lot of money, half, more than half your money, man. Yeah, man, I got you, because that's, that's crazy. All right, Alejandro, what's good, what's good? You just got your yellow head, ew, yeah, showing Bart. Yeah, man. Bart right here is like four years old now. That's our OG right here. Yeah. Yeah, man, you got you when I'm happy you gotta, to hear you gotta that. Stay, you got to stay close, babe. I'm happy to hear that. I keep on thinking I can talk out of both of these. Mm -hmm. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Cody, my wife and I want to get a cylinder tank, but she's talking about pricey. What size cylinder tank would you get, Cody? Because, you know, and then what kind of fish would you put in that? Uh, DM. You Craigslist. missed, you missed 808 Beast. He said aloha. 808, what's good with you, bruh? What's good with you, man? Aloha, man. Hope all is well. Hope you're doing good. It's, we, uh, we definitely over here chilling. All right. Y'all ain't ever more money for fish. Exactly. Definitely. Definitely, Regina. He'll be able to save some money on this whole setup and buy some nice fish. That's a fact. I got it. All right, Curtis, please send me an aquarium setup recommendation. I love your channel. Curtis, send me an email to Fish Corner 0219. Matter of fact, maybe I'm about to, I'm about to type it in right now. From my phone. Yep, from this phone. <laughs> the fish Corner. 
So it's going to be coming through yeah, from uh, my channel, TFC with me, since he does have my phone. At Gmail. No, Tess that, is uh, right there. All right, so I'm Tess sending that right thing. There. That right there is the email. Y'all can send me, y'all, y'all, you can send me the your tank um, dimensions, it the size tank. Through. It didn't. It's right there. What? Why not? So give it a second. It'll come through then. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just, well, you can see. I don't even know how to do it on that phone. Yeah, you, you can't can do it on this one. Yeah, that's terrible. That's yeah. terrible. But yeah, I'm gonna definitely put you on. I got you. I got you, Curtis, for sure. All right, where we at? I tried to get an aquarium when I was in in the Marines, but they made me get rid of get rid of it in the barks. Man, yeah, that's out of pocket. Make sure you it's guys are hitting that like too. button. My fish grows so quick. Yeah, you know, um. No, nah, man, not always. I, if you have a big, if you have a big tank form, yes. But that lionfish that I had, that we have in the house in a 75 gallon, we've had that one for over a year, and it's still like three inches, three inches, man. Maybe maybe three and a half inches, and we've had it for a year already. So it depends. It depends. Wait, then, I'm gonna add myself as a moderator. Okay. There you go, and now you can. Now you could do it. Chris, is that is that the eel known as Tess? Yeah, Tess is our Tess a lot of eel right there. I was trying to show. Well, there we go, with the, uh, the black and white one. That's our Tess a lot of eel. Yeah. Okay, what the hell, there we go. All right. Where we at, where we at, where we at, where we at? It's all good, Kazi, it's all good. Not a problem. All right. BK found you recently really like the style line. Keep doing it. Curtis, I appreciate that, man. Thank you so much. Thank you, Curtis. Man, big ups. Thank you. But uh where we at? Where we at? Where we at? BK found you recently. Really like this style line. Keep doing your thing, man. Thank you, BK. Thank you, BK. We are definitely gonna keep doing this. Uh, we got Aida in the building. We cannot forget we got the magnificent videographer right there, my <laughs> woman. Her channel is called TFC with me. If you really want to support us a little bit more, go and subscribe to that YouTube channel as well. You know, she's usually behind the scenes. Well, she's always behind the scenes doing a recording for us. So we all watching those videos, that's her. But now we're going to start doing these lives. You know, I was talking about all the time how we do the lives on TikTok. We're going to start doing it now over here. And while I talk and read these comments, we're going to keep feeding these fish. Down below, we have Drax. Now, Drax eats a few different things. He eats the silver sides. Yeah, Drax, it's time to eat. Let's go. Uh-huh. Bam. There we go. Nice silver side form. No, he played no games. Drax has been trying to get over a little hole in the head, so he's been a little sick. We're getting him back. Added the Edson salt, raised the temperature. You know, um, you know, his is looking a lot better. I got some excellent recommendations from a couple of lives ago. Man, I hope that I provide y'all with some useful information like y'all provide me because I'm telling you, in that live, I definitely got a lot of information. So if y'all haven't caught that live, go check it out. Has some real genuine supporters that, you know, that has dealt with certain things pertaining to fish. You keep on looking at me like that, baby. Am I missing I'm reading. No, 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 no. I'm reading. <laughs> I wasn't looking at you. Sorry. All right. All right. Where we at? Where we at? I was reading comments. My bad, babe. Yeah, we also have the membership. I don't know. We got we got one member, Gary Dale. I don't know if he's on the Shout out to you, Gary, shout even though he Gary. ain't. Shout yeah. out. Oh, yeah. Curtis just came through with $9.99. Curtis was good. <laughs> thank you very much. Big thank you. Oh, appreciate y'all. For sure, for sure. All right, what we got? What we got? Um... Uh, Cody Miller, when are you going to get a freshwater moray eel? You know, that's a good damn question, man. The only one that I like is the tiger moray eel that's freshwater. He, we did I didn't learn, even know that. We, we did learn they have a tiger moray eel that's freshwater. We, we might did. have to do that, we yeah. We might have to get We one like of eels. Yeah, we love eels. We got seven of them, so yeah. So yeah. We got seven. We got Eight. Four, five, six, seven. 
Seven How about points. Skeletor? Seven. Oh, okay. Yeah. All right. Any advice on starting a saltwater aquarium first time? Yeah, JT. Um, you should just, you should definitely check out one of my most recent videos. I also have the series How to Start Your First Saltwater Aquarium. But I just did it again with that 20 gallon over there. Um, you know, in that video, I go in depth on how to start it. I actually do it with y'all. So you can certainly, uh, what is showing, babe? I didn't want, Oh yeah. yeah. But you can certainly catch up. You can certainly catch up. I'll make it real quick for you. All you need is a nice size tank. You're gonna buy some sand, live sand. You're gonna buy some live rock. You're gonna pay for your salt water. You're gonna get, in a, you're gonna get a filter that will turn the water volume over at least three times the aquarium size. Throw it all together, make sure you got a heater and a light, and within five days, you could possibly add fish or corals. That might sound a little far-fetched, it might sound too easy, but it is too easy. It's too easy to get started on the saltwater side. So, either, catch, either check out that video, or make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you'll be able to see what I'm talking about. All right, where else, what else? Chris, the next step, is a native fish setup. When I was a kid, I had the northern pike for a while. It was dope. I would love to have a northern pike. We can't even have those out here. As far as the native fish setup, that's like bluegill. Um, that's a bass. That's everything cold water. So um, I was gonna do that, but we don't really have a massive size cold water pond, and that's what we need. I mean, we have the koi pond, but that's not really for you know bass and sunfish bluegill, things like that, channel cats. That's really what we have out here. All right, what else? Cleveland's kind of lagging, but yes, that was Tess, Miss Regina, Mexicali Fish Keeper, what's up? Of, man, check this out. <laughs> that, I have a lot of comments to respond to. I you know, know babe. You can't, you can't, I, but I, I, see, I see the bottom, so yeah, I'm not I'm cherry picking, I just see the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> Cody asks, so you miss Cody's. What you pay on the electric blue jacks can't seem to find less than 25 each. Cody, we got lucky. Ooh. A tic tac, a tic tac friend of ours. Mike. Mike. He is definitely not in the chat. I didn't have to say his name, but a tic tac friend of ours. He lives in a couple cities over. He found him at a pet mart. When, he, when I seen that on his TikTok, I asked him for the address. He provided it. I went down there and bought four. Man, $5 a piece. You can't beat that. Winner, Nowhere. winner. Nowhere. Got lucky. But yeah, local fish stores usually have them. You can also buy them online. You know, call a fish store, ask them if they can get But you in the sticks. Damn. That might be a little bit harder. I'll see what I can, I'll see what I can find online. I'll send, you, I'll send you the uh, link if I do see something. You know, that's the best, that's the best I could do. All right, JT, 55 gallon tank. Um, again, 50, so for a 55 gallon tank, I would probably put a hang on the back filter. It's kind of like stretching it. I would do a canister filter for that. And again, same thing with the salt water, buy your salt, buy your, I mean, buy your salt water, buy your live rock, buy your live sand. And again, same thing with the filter. But the same, the same method applies. Whatever size tank it is, same method applies. But for that 55 gallon, I would do either the canister filter, if you don't mind paying the money for a sump, do that. But I would do at least a canister filter. Uh, Aqua Clear 110 is not gonna suffice for, for a 55 gallon salt water tank. Just won't work. You need at least three times the water volume. All right, uh, where we at, where we at? Alejandro said he wanna donate a Fajaca Puffer. Where am I gonna put that Fajaca puffer? I don't have nowhere for the uh, puffer. I appreciate it though. I appreciate it though. Now, if you get you a go, if you get you a gold saltwater puffer, let me know. Yeah, you definitely <laughs> could donate that. The golden puffer. <laughs> Stu smoke tracks with the bubble top. You gotta love him. Facts, facts. I don't know if he's done eating. You done eating tracks? You done? You see those pellets back? So Drax also eats these pellets, but he's looking like he's kind of full. He is. He's looking kind of full. We've anything? had him for a minute now, too. Yeah, anything? You done? 
burping up the fool. <laughs> I think he's like an old man. <laughs> Shit. Man. Yeah. All right. So that's it. Over here we got the fry. Over here we got the hybrid fry. And no, it's time to eat. They're piranhas. These ain't fry. They're piranhas. Right. These are all the hybrids right here. These are Dovi Feste Hybrid. And this is where the African cichlids will be going once I get rid of all of these hybrids. All right. Are you okay? I said you be hitting them licks. They need to hit that like, that like button. Yeah, man, that, what, what's the likes looking like? Okay, we good right now. 40. And yeah, we definitely be hitting those legs, Dan. Got lucky. I swear we be getting lucky. All right. Yeah, Cody, I, man, I'm telling you, we real, yeah, we got lucky, man. I don't think it'll happen again. Usually Pest Morning Petco, they still looking hungry, though. No. Usually Pest Morning Petco don't even sell electric blue jack Dempsey's. I almost didn't believe it was true. But I still went down there to find out, and they looking real good right now. All right, JT, you have a solid tank you can show right quick. Point out what you what you got in there. Well, yeah, uh, JT, uh, there's a salt water tank right here. This is a salt water tank, and this one is set up with the sump down below with the skimmer. I got two trash can sumps on this thing. Uh, let's keep on showing this one. Over here we have a 37 gallon with just a hang on the back filter right there. All right. Over here we got a 125 gallon salt water tank. All DIY sump, a butter tank sump right there. DIY trash can sump right there. Um, so yeah, you know, multiple different ways of keeping them. I mean, this one right here is a salt water 20 gallon. I got a hang on the back filter on it. So you can keep their salt water aquariums many of different ways. You just want to make sure you turn that water volume over as many times as possible within an hour. That's the most important thing. All right, all right, let's see. What do you recommend? Top consumer review. What do I recommend for Aptasia? You could very well get you an Aptasia eating foul fish. You could also get some peppermint shrimp. They both will eat that Aptasia. And it's a natural way of getting rid of it. Alejandro, Christmas, I got you. <laughs> He's talking about for the, uh, for the gold I puffer. know, but then he <laughs> said, golden puffer for Papa, not you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Damn, I'm deaf. Yeah, I'm almost there. I'm almost to the bottom now. You are. BZ Aquatics. Let a fish room will update when I get mine updated. Appreciate that, BZ. Appreciate it, man. Thank you. All right, Chris. Speaking of the old fish, I have a pink finished stratus that I had since 2012. Real OG, 12 years old. That's what I'm talking about. That proper fish keeping allow that fish to let it allow that fish to live its full life expectancy. You can't beat that. All right, Chris, where are we at? Chris and Doba. Oh, Carter. Fido. Where he at? He turned on the light, so I don't want him to lock us out. What light? Oh, I saw the light on. Okay. All right, all right. Harley. Okay, okay, all right, yeah. I'm going to finish watching my show and we go to bed. Good night, Shamu Aquatics. Really appreciate you for, for contributing to the to the conversation, contributing to the chat, and uh, I'm going to definitely catch you on the next one. You have a good night. All right, now, now the moment I hope y'all was waiting for. We are going to do the 800 gallon real quick. It's going to be hard to hear you, but at least they can see. The pond, y'all. I'll show y'all the pond in a minute. <sighs> so 
Cleveland said this is what I was waiting for. All right, let's feed these monsters. All right. I'm gonna start off with some of these pellets right here. Can you guys let me know if you guys can hear Cleveland? guys for letting me know. Good I hear? All right, good. Here comes Kobe. Oh, you... <laughs> he he I'm got not, lazy. He's, I'm not jumping. <laughs> I'm not no show pony. <laughs> <laughs> well, he normally does this, so I definitely thought he was going to do it one me time too, for the me live. Too, me too. Me too. He's like, yeah, nah. not. <laughs> Draymond. Where is he? Right here, right up under you. There you go. Local Pike just got it. Dang. African Pike. I saw that. Now I'm going to try to give Draymond his issue. Where you at, Draymond? Huh? Oh, he's right there, buddy. You got him? You got him in your yep. sights? Yep. All right. There we go. And he got it. All right. I think Kobe is ready for another piece. No, he, he still has another oh, yeah, one in his mouth, yeah. Right, well, yeah I don't know if you but you could feed. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to. Now you're going to jump? There oh. You go. A little jumping. <laughs> yeah, a little jumping. A little jumper Rooney. All right. Now, where's the tiger shuffle? There he go. No, I can't see him. I know, but I'm still going to feed him, though. All right, careful. Here you go. You see him now? Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Gotcha. I'll try to zoom in. I gotcha. Come on. There, we, there go. we go. All right. Next up. What else we got in here? We're going to be on small silver size now. All right. Half pin. Nope. Draymond. Draymond for the three. All right. One more. There you go. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Good luck, yeah. Now I know the asking price. There you go. There we go. I knew you wanted another one. So Skelly ain't came up to grab none of these. Oh, look at you guys. We still have Fry in here. I don't know if you guys just seen them dip off. Yeah, they've been in here lasting. Hiding. Definitely. All right, Kobe. I got you. Damn. <laughs> Ever so gently. Right, right. I ain't gonna keep on making them work for it. This guy go. is my at favorite. Look at the, um, the all red out of bad pole. That one's beautiful. I need to get this out here to him. Got gotcha. you. You got him? Uh huh. All right, come on. I got you, buddy. Aw, oh. he got scared. Yeah, because Kobe was like, I'm about to go and take that. Here we go. Where you at, buddy? Nope. It's all right. I'll drop it right down here. Ah. I knew you would take it. Yeah. All right, Kobe. Another one for you. Yeah, there you go. Easy, easy. All right. Next step. Where's Draymond at? Um, right Draymond here. Be cool. He's on your side? Yeah. Oh, no, that's not him. Well, I know who else want another one now. First of all, there's a red one down there. I'm uh, scared he's that he's going to jump. Ooh. Kobe. And okay. There we go. Come on. Got you with another one. There you go. There we go. Thanks, Chris. The Garami is definitely one of my favorites in here, along with um, 
the the fest day. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The fest day is right there. I'm not sure why she didn't come out to eat. I think she came out and got pellets. Oh, okay. Yeah. That's why. Oh, and we got a piece of shrimp in here. There you go. Some shrimp. There you go. <laughs> He's so gentle. He's never gentle like this. He's showing out. Let's see. What else we got? We got some more silver sides. This water is so clear, babe. Good job. Thanks, babe. All right. You want another one? Another one, Cody? There you go. Yep. Medina Cichlid said, where is Clay and Steph? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> uh, shit. And also, Medina Sikla said, I uh, love the new pike from Predatory Fins. Appreciate it. Definitely appreciate that. Yeah, they looked out. I was hesitant about even buying anything from them, but um, they, uh, they definitely came through. Yeah. They came through. Corey Zoe said, do you have to change the water in the pond? No. No, I don't. Um, I've done two water changes on this thing in, uh, in two years. Cody Miller said, what do you guys have in the pond? I know a few, but can't remember the rest. We have two zebra tilapia. We have a 16 inch giant garami. We have an African pike in here. We have a female feste. We have in here about two hybrids, which is a Dovi feste hybrid. We have a red devil slash jaguar hybrid. They're all hiding right They're now. Hiding. We have in here four, four mita cichlids. We have in here a 16 inch clown knife. We have in here a tiger shovel nose. And then we definitely, oh, you see two, have ad, some two, fry. Ad, two red out of apple pipe. Yep. And then of course we got Kobe right here. Don't forget about the little fry. Oh, you did? Said, oh, my yeah. bad. Yeah. So that was really the idea. You wouldn't even believe that we have all of these fish in here, but everybody got a hiding spot. So when I was telling y'all earlier that it's a couple different methods to keeping aggressive fish. Now, the overstocking method with African citrus, that's one method. Now, the overstocking for something like this, it's not really overstocked, even if it is, you can't tell us over stock. Why? Because everybody has a hiding spot. When you have large aggressive, fish, large aggressive fish like this, you want to have the sight breaks. You want to have the places where these fish can get away and um and find you know refuge. So one of the things that allow me to have all of these aggressive fish is the way that I made this like a race track. So instead of it being a rock cave over here and a rock cave right there, a rock cave right there, it's a racetrack. The Arowana is constantly able to swim in a circle, so it doesn't feel like he's only at 800 gallons. On top of the fact, I have hiding spots in each one of these flower pots. Each flower pot I drilled holes in, so there's fish hiding in that one, fish hiding in this one, fish hiding in that one, and fish hiding in that one down below. And then all of these all of these areas around this rock, all the, all the rock work is swim throughs. So it's not necessarily caves, it's swim throughs. So the fish aren't really just taking territory to one spot because you know they swim through that. So all of those reasons are the reasons why I've been able to accomplish keeping all of these aggressive fish in one enclosure. A lot of fish can't live in this enclosure. But my Oscar can't live in here. My Jack Dempsey cannot live in here. My flower horn cannot live in here. Um, I've tried, they beat them up to the point where I had to remove them. So this is a very aggressive 800 gallon pond. Now, this is the pond that I'm gonna transform into a 2,500 or 3,000 gallon. Uh, so don't worry, they're not gonna stay in this pond, but eventually I wanna bring in here my albino silver arowana. I wanna bring in here the Jardine, but um, I've been able to accomplish this oh, because of all the things that I've encountered, you know, in the course of the past 12 years. Uh, as far as cleaning and maintenance on this pond, 
The biggest filtration on this pump is the plants. I have a 44 gallon trash can over there, sump that I built, but the plants is what keeps this water crystal clear, y'all. The plants will allow you to have a natural filtration inside of your aquarium or pond. Don't have just a bare bottom pond or tank and eliminate your plants. Add the plants, allow your, your, your enclosure, allow your pond, allow your tank to become an ecosystem. There's no way that this pond would look like this and the fact that I haven't done a water change on this thing in the past. The last time I did a water change on this is when I repotted this middle plant right here. And that might have been like a year ago. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm not trying to brag when I say I've only done two water changes on this thing, but I'm just trying to tell you how much the plants make a difference for a pond. They eat up all of the nitrates. They remove the false face from the water. They literally thrive and grow. I mean, look at this thing. I'm six foot tall, and these plants keep, and these leaves on this elephant ear just keep wanting to get taller than me. And look how and big. Have, well, yeah, so it's like that's got the can that got it. We got, got three elephant ears growing over here. Elephant ear growing right there. The pothos are literally growing everywhere on the outside of this pond and everything. Let me show. All the way around. Those pothos, they can't hear me now because you're out. Go ahead. So those pothos are growing from the waterfalls. You know, I have a circulation. So the water comes out right here from the filter output. I have a circulation pump right there pushing the water that way. I have a circulation pump pushing the water back this way. I have this last circulation pump pushing the water back to the filter intake. So it's literally a racetrack, literally a vortex. And then again, the waterfall, the waterfall are, is creating aeration in the water. There's no stagnant water in here, it's constantly moving. So this is the best setup right here for the fish that I keep. Um, and as you can see, it's out competing. These plants are out competing all the algae that you would think were growing here because these are actually grow lights. So um, yeah. From this pond, I really hope that some of you could take a little bit, if not all of it, and replicate it on an even better level than what I've done. You know, this is something that I envisioned. It all started for me wanting the kiddie pool because I thought that it would make, make it a little bit more, make it easier for the larger fish temporarily. You know, I have it blocked. I made these shelves right here. So my arowana, because I know I wanted the arowana, can't jump out. Kobe can't jump out of this. You know what I'm saying? And then I decided to put the plants on here because I wanted to look a little bit more natural. Um, the enclosure in itself is to protect the liner on both sides. I have it insulated, so I have styrofoam in between the pond and this wood wall. Then I decided to put the canopy top so I could actually hang my grow lights because I knew I wanted plants in here. So, you know, this literally takes away from what, the, what this pond would have Hey, Carter, have on the outside, you know? So, on, yeah, that's enough of that. Come here. There we go. Last you want to say hi? There we go. Hi, Your bike? Go ahead. All right, y'all. So, I hope I didn't bore anybody. I hope that we still have people that's tuned in. You got 41 that, people in here. Okay, y'all. I, I really appreciate that. I hope that, uh, that my uh, long-winded explanation on how I'm doing this, why I'm doing it this way. And as far as heating, in case y'all wanna know, I have one 800 watt heater on this pond, just one, and it keeps the water at 78 degrees. The reason why we have the plastic going around is because we are in our garage. And if we didn't have that, the humidity in the room would be insane. That creates mold and things like that. You're never boring. Oh, I appreciate that, I appreciate that. So that's the reason for the plastic. So I hope, take that from the idea. If you decide to make a pond, think about how you're gonna keep all of that humidity in an enclosed area. Keep that moisture in, you know what I mean? So you don't have to worry about mold and things like that in your, in your basements, in your, in your garages, or anything like that. So keep all of that in mind. Like I say, treat the things that I show you guys and tell you guys like a T-bone steak. What do you eat? The meat, throw away the bone. Take away what you can, throw away the rest. I don't have a problem with it. If you think everything is trash, I'm okay with that too. But at least take something from what I'm saying and you know make your situation that much better. 
Now that's all, that's all I'm gonna say about that. Miss Regina, thank you. I knew you were talking about Carter. She said he's such a cutie. Carter, <laughs> let me clarify. <laughs> 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 Dad is cute too. Dad is cute too, but definitely right. appreciate you. Yeah, definitely appreciate it. Um, let me read you two comments. Okay. Um, Chris Delgado said, "Not even trying to guess, but Cleveland, you are so knowledgeable and passionate. You should open up a shop or a fish keeping class. Best one in the <laughs> hobby, and he's glad he found your channel." Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate appreciate you. You know, um, this is kind of like, you know, the, the, the class. Um, you know, that's why when I do these videos, I try to educate, inspire, and encourage. Um, this is like my class, um, my YouTube channel. As far as owning a, owning a fish shop, if I did that, I probably wouldn't be able to have this in my home because I'd be so tired, you know, from dealing with this at work. So um, the fact that I do have it in the home is really a dream come true. Um, having one fish room was the dream. Yeah, the fact that I got two, truly, the, the fact that we have two fish rooms, we are truly blessed and humbled by that. Don't take it for granted. And um, just want to keep doing more for the animals that we do keep. You know, I don't ever want to get into the habit of um, unappreciating the fish that we do keep and what they actually give back to us. Um, keeping our animals, they really give us um, a, a piece of serenity, you know, it's therapeutic. You know, that's the reason why I haven't stepped out. That's the reason why I know she hasn't stepped out because of me, but I haven't stepped out because I love the sound of this. I love the sound of the pond. I love looking at all the greenery. I love looking at my big fish. And I just want to make sure that I provide them the best life that I possibly can. That's why, you know, I want to always go bigger and build them a bigger enclosure. Not for new fish, but for the fish that I've already committed to keep it. Um, I want to make sure that they are thriving. You know, as I say, thriving is not surviving. You know what I mean? And I want my fish to thrive. You know, so that's really what this is about. And that's what I try to encourage. That's what I try to push. And I'm glad that that's being depicted through my words, through my content, through everything. Because, you know, I love this hobby. You know, and I hope that the people that watch my channel, watch these lives, love the hobby as much as I do. If not more. You know, and let's try to get more people in the hobby because we don't need, huh? What happened, man? I was just trying to tell you, well, make sure you let the, like, after you finish that, hit the like button. You can tell me the like button. I, I didn't want to talk talking. over you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See how she be distracting me. Sorry. <laughs> See how she be distracting me back there. I don't know what you're saying. I'm, I'm a bit talking. <laughs> well, finish your sentence, babe. I, I apologize. I, I, no, I'm just giving her a hard time. Giving her a hard time. But yeah, I, I lost, I lost my train of thought. Cody Miller said, "You're always learning and teaching." Thank you, Cody. Really appreciate that. And uh, like, 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 like Aida said, hit the like button. You gotta watch <laughs> to see what, like, how many people. Basically, it's, it depends on, how, on depends on how many people are. A lot of people left, back. and a lot of people came. So well, now you're at back, 33, and you're back, at 58. As y'all come back, please hit that like button. Make sure y'all subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Um, you know, this is a this is one of our fish rooms. This is the 800 gallon pond. This pond, y'all want to see this thing transform into what it's going to be. 2,500 gallons, 3,000 gallons at least. Well, I don't know, you're about five foot, so maybe like five foot walls all the way around. I might extend it to 11 foot. But yeah, this is going to be something to see, you know. Maybe at a bit, man. I don't know how long it's going to take to get this done, but you know, as soon as possible, y'all. As soon as possible. Stu Smoke said, well, bro, I got to crash. Got to get up early in the a.m. Much love to you and the fam. Tell Lisa Ray I miss her tonight. Kobe is a slam dunk. We'll try to get in earlier to oh, see man. Ray, that, to man. see Lisa Ray Munch. All that. Really appreciate you, bro, man. <laughs> Thank you for tapping in with you, man. Tapping in with us. We're going to catch you on the next one. And it's all Appreciate you. Thank you very much. Have a good night. But, hell, he's kind of like leading by example because now we got to give Carter some attention. You know, this was a feeding video of the... This is the first time we've done a feeding video with y'all, you know. This was fun. We are going to do it again. And um, now that, like I said, now that I know that we can move around with the phone, we are doing We're a on lot it. more going live. Promise you that. So um, if y'all didn't catch that last video, we just picked up a beautiful, beautiful fish from Predatory Kids. I'm not going to tell you what it is because I want you to watch the video. But 
Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are not already. Please make sure on the way out you decide to hit the like button for us. Follow Aida on TFC with me. Subscribe to that channel as well. She is always the one behind the, behind the camera. I she haven't in always, a while though. Huh? <laughs> I haven't been posted in a while. <laughs> you are always holding the camera for me. Yes. You are always being the number one supporter of the channel and what we do. Thank you, babe. How we do this. I cannot do this without her. So please show a little support and just go and subscribe to the channel. It's very easy. It's not going to cost you a single thing. And uh, man, y'all going to see a video from hey. me tomorrow. And we can also probably go live in the other fish room tomorrow as well. We'll do That'll a be video good. in the all white fish room. So yeah, y'all have an amazing night. Thank you everyone that contributed to the comments and the content. And uh, man, stay blessed. Have Come a great here. one. We'll see y'all tomorrow. We'll see Peace. you. Good night. <laughs> Wait, I don't know how to turn it off. <laughs> this is you awkward. <laughs> oh no. You still don't have it? Uh-uh. <laughs> Wait. That's, that's so funny. Good night, y'all. Do do I hit the X button? Yeah, babe. Oh. Yeah.